In today's video, worms that you can do at home before you get out to swing dance. But before I begin talking, remember, it's all connected. Come on, Sybil. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Adrian Rand. I'm a physical therapist and a fellow swing dancer. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about warm-ups that you can do at home before you get in your car or on public transportation to get to the swing dance event. And the, the point is that you wanna do a little bit of something to warm your body up, to prime it, so that you don't just get to the dance floor and do your first, first dance full turkey. And so I wanted to create um, a video to show you some really easy things that you can do at home with very minimal equipment to get your body ready before you commute to the swing dance event. So first, calf muscles. So we are on our toes quite a bit in the swing dance and your calf muscles can get really tight and just really exhausted over the weeks and months that you're swing dancing. So one of the simplest things that you can do, and you do this almost anywhere in the house, even outside sometimes, is just a simple calf stretch. All you need is a wall. So you put your hands against the wall and you point your toes forward. And one of the mistakes that people will make is that they will turn their toes out and that kind of avoids the muscle. So you wanna make sure your toes are facing forward and your knee is straight and you just feel the stretch in the actual muscle, in the calf muscle. Switch, maybe you hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. You do it about three times on each leg. Can you do that? Now, an alternative that you can do is also to get a different part of the calf muscle is actually bend your knee. So you bend your knee a bit and you're gonna get a different part of the calf muscle. Switch and do the same thing. So you have two options. One is the knee straight, you get one part of the calf muscle and then you can just bring it up closer and bend your knee, gets a different part. Just make sure that your toes are both facing forward and not turned out. Okay. Uh, another exercise that you can do is to get the quad muscles loosened up. And obviously in swing dance, a lot of times we're down here, which is pretty much a squat for who knows how many hours that you're out swing dancing. Again, all you need is the wall. You can use a chair as well if you'd like to. Pull onto the wall, just bring your foot up, get your heel to touch your butt, and you stretch it. Make sure you feel it in the front of the thigh. You switch sides, same thing, and just do a stretch. Hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds, or about three times on each side, and that'll get the quad muscles. So another thing that you can do, which is not the most knee friendly, but it is pretty effective, is I would use, let's just say, a yoga mat, just for comfort, put it down, and I would just kneel down. And this is pretty much like almost like an internal massage, kind of like a balloon being squeezed. And this, you're gonna feel the tightness in your quad muscles. What's cool about this as well is that you're gonna get a little bit of stretch in the ankles. And so we are always thinking about stretching your calf muscles and your foot flexing up further, but also our ankles point down and get up on, your, on our toes and dancing. So it's kind of a nice thing to stretch out the front of your ankles. And in this case, you kind of kill two birds with one stone. So even just kneeling, if you're okay with it, you don't need a pad and you can even do it just on the regular floor. So whatever your comfort level is. So that's another way that you can get the, uh, the quad muscles. Um, hamstrings, so a lot of times dancers, we're trying to stretch out your hamstrings for a number of reasons. We're sitting and your hamstrings get tight. So a simple thing that I like to do is just sit on the floor, feet are together, toes are facing straight up, not turned out, you lean against the couch, and there's your hamstring stretch. If you're really tight, this might be pretty uncomfortable. So you can slouch down a bit, get a little bit of ease on that hamstring. If you need to, you can turn your feet out. You may be here, it's totally fine, you start somewhere. But you can sit here and just work your way up until getting the smaller of your back against the couch. And you can be on your phone watching swing dance videos, tutorials, watching performances, watching rehearsals, uh, learning new techniques, and you can be watching television as well while you do this. So just sit here for as long as you can tolerate it for. Maybe five minutes, maybe two minutes, maybe 30 seconds, then you take a break and you start over. So that's for the hamstrings. Another thing that you can do is, for example, if you are trying to get your, perhaps your Charleston kick is pretty low and you just want to get a little bit higher, okay? Um, you can do something similar using your couch. So, you know, just be wary of your shoes on a couch. And, excuse me, Simba. And here's your hamstring stretch. So here you can feel that, you can be uncomfortable, you can flex your foot up, or you can just relax it. 
and I can touch my toes if I'd like to. And depending on how flexible you are, you can bring your foot up on your couch. Here, you can also use your back to give you some support. If this is a really intense stretch, I can just lean back and relax and there's my stretch. And if I want to, I can pull up a little bit, I can straighten out my knee and then relax. But ultimately, I like to do stretches and these type of mobility exercise as relaxed as possible. So this is option number one. Option number two is I just switch on the other side, do the same thing for my other leg. So that's for your hamstrings. Do it for 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, take breaks if you want, then start over again. And obviously I, I, might, I could put my back against the other arm wrist, but uh, this guy is over here. And then another thing I like to do is to warm up the muscles. I call it priming or activating the muscles. You're about to go and swing dance and be on your toes quite a bit. So I would pull onto the back of the chair or anything to be a table and just do some toe raises, calf raises, heel raises, whatever you want to call these, and just kind of get that muscle to wake up a bit. 20 to 40 should be okay. And if you want to do a quick test, you let go. It's a good idea to see, hey, how much balance do you have? How much ankle control do you have? And we assume that because we're on our toes and we're dancing a lot, our ankle muscles are strong. That's not necessarily the case. Our bodies are really good at compensating. And so you might think your ankles are working hard, but they're actually not working that much. They're weak and other muscles are taking over. Another exercise you can do here, sitting before you get up from work is crossing your leg. You can push it, pull it. You can just relax back and this is stretching out my hand. Then on the other side, push it, pull it. I can just sit here, watch some swing dance videos and there's my stretch. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, comment. Feel free to comment if you have any ideas for Thomas or videos. My name is Adrian Random, I'm a physical therapist and fellow swing dancer. Until the next video, swing strong.